Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here, sharing another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Catfishing scams have been around for quite a while. What is catfishing? It's the act of someone pretending to be someone they're not in a manner that seems a little fishy. Now, catfishing scams are designed to get your important information. They're used in the world of online dating and even social media on networks such as Facebook and LinkedIn. Today, I'm going to show you how you can avoid such scams as catfishing, find out the culprits and what you need to do in order to protect yourself. There's a couple of things that you need to do for starters. First, you need to uh, do your research. And what that means is that you get contacted out of the blue from someone. You need to check out their social media profile. You need to get on Google, Google that person. Uh, you need to look at their profiles to see how complete it is. Uh, if you go to a social media profile uh, that you think may be a catfish scheme, uh, you want to look and see how many friends they have with their social media profile. Um, if they have little friends on their profile, or if the activities on their profile are more like modeling shots, selfies, and nothing to do with uh, activities that are take place in the real world, it's a potential that that person could be part of a catfish scam that's designed to get your information. The way catfishers work is that they create a fake profile and then they lure you in by creating a false friendship, eventually asking for such personal information as maybe your address phone number in order to get your personal identity. So you need to be on the lookout. Next thing you can do is uh, part of that investigation is to look at uh, the images that they have on their social media profiles. Here's how. A lot of images are all over the internet. Uh, you can see images uh, by going to Yahoo and Google and people can find modeling shots of uh, different individuals. Um, if we search through enough images here, we can actually find people, uh, which is pretty good. But for our purposes, we'll deal with these big cats and other planetary bodies. Now, if you want to find out if an image is legitimate or coming from a website, you can simply right click on an image such as this one, and then you want to go for search Google for image. Once you do that, Google will search the internet and find out exactly how many websites that image is. So I could kind of give you an idea um, of if that image is a legitimate image coming from a social media network or if it's just something pulled from the internet. Another tool you can use is 10i. Now what 10i does is that you can actually use a URL for an image or you can pull an image that you may have downloaded from a friend off of the internet. Once you find your image, uh, you can have 10i search the internet and it'll find that image. So it lets you know again, how many social networks is that image on? So a little detective work on your end. The thing that you wanna do, especially in the world of online dating, is to meet face-to-face -face immediately. That way you know you're dealing with a real person and not a, uh, a imposter. If the person is reluctant to meet immediately, then you've got an imposter on your hands. Same thing with the recruiter if you're dealing with LinkedIn. Um, recruiters, well, people will pose as recruiters in order to get your personal information. So you definitely need to watch out for that on LinkedIn. Uh, finally, keep a level head. Uh, you definitely don't want to give out too much information on social media. So um, when people ask you personal data, make sure you've done your research before you hand that out. As always, if you've got comments or questions about this tech tip, leave them in the comment section below. You can check out more great YouTube videos like this on our YouTube channel at Integral On-Site and Online Tech Support. And we're all over social media, so check us out. Take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. Thanks for watching.